Hello dear YouTuber friends and I do hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video. In the past couple of weeks Flo has had another update which includes a colour wheel so you can easily change the colours of your nameplates using a handy wheel as you can see here to get some interesting results. I'll be showing you this in this video. This will be for both Xbox and PC. Also in this video I'm going to show you something called the landing weight widget. Which is quite a handy little widget if you want to rate your own landings in your chosen aircraft. Well okay let's not dilly dally. Let's get on with this video. So, okay, let's show you the uh, c new colour wheels for the nameplates. Seem to be in a good position here around London City Airport. As always, quite a few people on. These are my default colours, which I prefer. Let's bring up the flow wheel. So you want to go to the settings cog here. Using Flow Pro, so, but this should work with Flow Essentials for the Xbox as well. In the settings, just go to nameplates. Previously, you would have to go to your day or night and type in the commands uh, manually. Now you can click on one. So let's go to font color. Color, rather. What I would suggest before you play with this, if you're quite happy with your colors, take a screenshot or write down this color. Because once you start to change it, and if you click, if you click out of this window or you click apply, let's do it here. These are going to be your new colours, so you have to remember. Thank thankfully, I do. I believe mine were 400000. Apply that, and it will take me back to the colours that I prefer. So do make a note of this down here. So yeah, you can go into here, and you can still do it manually. But if you want to do it the new dandy handy way, you can just move this wheel around. Click on one of the colours. Move the wheel around until you find a colour. That's quite an interesting one, isn't it? That you prefer. I'll cancel that and it will just keep the default colour that I had before. It will work with background as well. You do need some kind of transparency with the uh, background. So you have to go to this bottom one here to make it uh, more obvious. Obviously, the more you click that, the deeper it will be. But there you go, there's one. And then you can mess around with this wheel as well. Don't usually have a background around people's names, but I know some people like that. So you can just click in any of the colours. And give this a try yourself if you own Flow Essentials or Flow Pro. So there you go. I'll cancel that to keep my default settings once again. It's just all zero. And outline colours as well. If you want outline colours, there you go. You just do the same thing. And instead of coming down here, some people found that quite complicated to get the right setting that they wanted. There you go. That's, oh, it's a bit too much. Let's just bring down that sort of uh, boldness of the outline using that bottom setting down there. And you can get some to some quite interesting settings. Let's take it back a bit. There you go. So as you can see. So there you go, that's quite a new feature and it will work on night as well. So you can change your night settings, I quite like my night ones. But I will be playing around with that and you can colour your friends differently of course uh, in the future. So okay, so that's the new colour wheel. Let's now get on to the landing rate widget. So as I somewhat get myself lined up for a runway 9 at Hudson International here. Let me just show you something. That's probably best putting this under active pause for now. I'll come back to it in a moment. With the flow toolbar now, they've added a couple more widgets. This should be the same for Xbox and PC. I'll just go to the second wheel. Typically, typically you'll get a couple of wheels uh, for each aircraft. I've just got add fuel on that wheel, but if I click on one of the blank spaces, left click and hold, 
Now, if you scroll down and you see different things like autopilot cameras, if you're used to flow, you should know all these already. But there's one called HUD. So it's number four HUD. At least it is on PC. Still got to check if it's the same on the Series S. Somebody can let me know down below. You've got things like landing rates, which will give you your sort of uh, uh, your landing performance. So I'll add it to the here. You've also got things like controls visualization, visualizer rather, acceleration visualizer. Let's just put the control one up. I'll put it into this box here. That's quite an interesting one. So what I'll do, I'll get rid of that wheel. So as you can see, once you've add them, these two are always active unless you remove them. But let's unpause it and get rid of the flow wheel. Take it off autopilot now. I can see the runway ahead of me. I just put my gear down in the uh, Cessna 182RG. And I'll try and do a smooth landing as I can. With the controls visualized, you can see as I move my yoke around, so I'm moving it left right up or down you can see that dot follows it's quite handy to see well if you like that type of thing what your controls are doing or what you're doing to your controls to be more precise and the rudder left and right as you move that I probably won't keep that up all the time it can get quite distracting but it's quite useful to see your controls are working or how they're working within the sim so there we go, we get more towards that stage one flap speed, you know what, I'm not far from it. And the runway is right ahead of us, so stage one flaps there, keep slowing to around 60 to 80 knots. Come in try and do a nice smooth landing to see if I can get a good score, then I'll talk about, as you'll see when you land, once you've got this landing rate widget installed. Like I say, it will stay on. You won't see anything until you've actually landed. So there we go. Let's go another stage of flaps. Slow down a wee bit more. Just watch the pitch of my aircraft when I go to flaps there. That's fine. How's the Pappy Lights doing? I seem to be okay with the Pappy Lights, but I'm not that interested. I can land nice and short because I'm in a Cessna 182. Follow the puppy lights somewhat just to keep myself aligned. And when I can see the runway is right ahead of me, I'm going to ignore them and just aim for the runway. Bring my speed back a wee bit more. Just put my last stage of flaps there in. And bring my speed down. Now let's try and do a smoother landing. Ooh, was Almost wasn't smooth as I can here. There you go. Not too bad. I've had that sub 100. I'll click that little eye box just as a break and come off to the left there. And I'll talk about this. Right, okay, so what this is, I believe the FPM here, the lower the better for this. I've had that sub 100, which means I absolutely smoked the landing per se. Didn't even feel myself touch down. So the lower you can get that, the better. This here shows the runway, quite nice clarity there, and it actually shows you where you landed on the runway, which is nice, and the G-force, and whether or not you had any bounces as well. So you can imagine during our community flight, I'll probably keep this on for one, one or two landings, <laughs> just to see how we do. It'll be fun if other people can share their landings, because we usually get some pretty heavy landings going on. So there you go, that's why I've landed on the runway. That's pretty much my score. The lower, the better here. And the G-Force as well. So the landing weight ridger, I quite like. And just to get rid of that, you just click the little box there. There's other things you can add here. Let's just remove this one as well, the controls visualizer. You just, you just basically in your flow wheel, left click and hold, and then Left click and hold, oh okay, and then when this box comes up just left click and you can just go to the trash icon there, proceed, I'll keep the landing rate Richard, I'll, I do like that. Couple other things here, I'm not sure if this is with just Flow Pro or just Flow for PC generally, you've got sim settings so graphics select there, whether you want VSync on, 
loads of things in here, in fact. Pretty much what you'll find in the menu on the PC. Settings 2, as you can see. It's loads and loads of stuff has been added. Anyway, chaps, I'll leave it there. There's a couple more added features that have come to flow recently. The landing rate rigid. I know a lot of us are having a lot of fun. I really want to try that when I get into my 146 to see how smoothly or not I land with my 146 and Concord. That should be fun. Do give these uh, new utilities a try if you haven't already. Give the video a like. If you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more. And I'll see you soon.